Hi, and welcome to another edition of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And I have to ask, are we getting to them? I hope so. Now, pride goes before a fall, and hubris is a terrible thing. But I must admit to feeling a little bit, well, smug today. Uh, I keep getting attacked, of course. I keep getting a lot of support. Uh, I get support from people who don't necessarily have a voice. Uh, my my stand on women's rights, on not having trans men or, you know, actual men in women's safe spaces, such as changing rooms and toilets, bathrooms, women uh, refuges, things like that. That garners a lot of support, um, mainly from women, it must be said. Uh, but, you know, other, other people say, you know, well done for standing up and, and giving a voice. And then sometimes you get the comments from the opposite camp, the other viewpoint. And I always try to be polite. Um, I don't want to disengage. That would be wrong. But sometimes you have to be very careful in how you respond. And I like being careful in how I respond. And so I have. Um, and I'm going to show you um, a little thing today. Um, it's a very short video. It's just going to go in and show what a comment was given, you know, was made, and my response to it, uh, and the lack of comment that therefore thereafter came. Um, like I say, you know, you, we don't want to be sort of too hubristic on this, but I was rather pleased with myself, and I was channeling me inner Margaret. Let's put it that way. Anyway, let's have a look at the uh, the, the comment and the response. So uh, here's, here's like an example of what happens. Now, I did a video uh, about a month ago now uh, about Plymouth University. It's brought in, um, should we say, a policy that men can use women's changing rooms and toilets. And that if a female in aforementioned changing room or toilet comes out and is encountered a man in there, they're to say nothing, they're to keep their mouths shut, they're not to make the man feel embarrassed or ask him to leave. Uh, and should they raise this matter and make an issue of it, it will be the women who will be asked to leave the university and who may lose their degree and all their funding and any money they've already paid. Because effectively what they're saying is women shut up uh, because only men have rights. Uh, we don't care what you feel about having a man in your changing room. Uh, it's important that the men feel right. And that's Plymouth University's stance. Um, it's a stance, like I say, 99% of people are going to agree uh, is wrong. 99% of people will say, why the hell do these men want to be in a lady's changing rooms? But, you know, they're mentally ill. They have this thing that they feel they want to be women. And so I I did the video on this, and then I get a response today, you know, a month later. But it's it's fine. Um, I respond to everyone. So this fellow, Ethan J B. He's responded. Ah yes, an old out of touch dude who looks like the love child of Dustin Rhodes and Al from Toy Story, is the voice we need to listen to about trans issues. I had to Google who these people were. And I shall put the pictures up now. And you know what? He has a point, I think. I'm not too sure. Um, I've got slightly more hair than Al, and it's a lot grey. Well, we call ourselves silver, silver hair. But, you know, yeah, I don't mind that. Although I'm not one of those, like, reclad, um, you know, pretend choreographied dancers that calls themselves a wrestler. You know, I haven't got the body for that one thing. Uh, anyway, come back down. So I responded, I responded to this fellow. Um, and it was here. Thank you for watching the video and thanks for your comment. I enjoyed it very much. Uh, when people make ad hom attacks, such as the one you made against me, railing against what I look like, I know the argument has been won. You must attack the messenger because you cannot argue against the message. You and I both know you are very much in the minority viewpoint on this issue and that you will never convince 99% of normal people that allowing men into women-only spaces is a good idea. 
That is why the left, the woke, the losing side, always resort to name calling and insults. When someone speaks against your weird ideology, you launch into the attack by calling them ists and phobes rather than tackling their criticism head on. I will give you this opportunity here on this forum to explain why you think allowing men into women's changing rooms where women and young girls may be present and undressing is something you believe to be acceptable. And over to you. And for a while there was no response. Uh, you wouldn't expect there to be, but then there was a response. Uh, I honestly didn't think I'd get one, uh, but he did. Uh, and so let's look. Now, to be fair, he's kept it pleasant. Um, I've not got into a world, a world of pain with the man, so I'm, I'm happy with that. But we have to have a look at what he says. So, isn't your thumbnail insulting to trans people? Question mark. I don't think so. Frankly, I see no point in trying to argue with someone who's clearly so entrenched in his beliefs that nothing I say or evidence I will present will change his mind. And yet I'm the one who's asked you to present evidence, to give me an argument, to debate me, to tell me why having a man in a ladies only space where vulnerable women may be, why you think that's a good idea, why you think that's right. I've got, I'm willing to listen, but you haven't, have you? Look to the elections instead, he continues, where you see Tories are losing hundreds of seats while more contemporary progressive parties are gaining them. Progressive is a word they use to mean backward. The times are changing and in the future views like yours will be seen as a curious oddity of a bygone era. Yes, views where protecting women from men will be seen as a wrong thing. Hmm, I don't think that's happening anytime soon. You know, keeping men out of, you know, DV hostels. No, pretty sure that's not going to roll out, you know, out of, the con out, of, out of the consciousness of people anytime soon. Godspeed, my friend, he continues. And I hope you find some joy in the world instead of being afraid of the inevitable future. No, I'm not afraid of anything, really, which is why I've got this channel. Um, if I was afraid, I'd keep your mouth shut. I have courage. So anyway, I responded to his response. So, not taking this opportunity to explain why men in ladies only areas is so attractive to you. Merely deflecting and avoiding, as we've seen. The odd thing is that the very argument you employ to show how right you are is clearly and obviously wrong. If you are of the opinion that a mid-term, one-third of the council's local government election is a ringing endorsement for the mentally ill to be allowed to watch young girls get changed, then I'm afraid it is you who is very much mistaken. Channeling the emperor now, you know. But I will no longer pursue the matter, and I wish you well in your pursuit of happiness, or in your pursuit of a penis, whichever is closer to your heart. And there we are. That's currently where it is. Um, he may respond. I won't bother with any more. Uh, but I will come up and round off. It is ever thus the way of the left that they resort to threats of violence, of name calling, of chicanery. They never offer a reasonable argument. And the reason is everything they say is so unreasonable. I offered a chance there to explain, but he did not take that chance. They have a they have a mindset that whenever you question them, it's because you hate them and you're an ist and you're a phobe. And so they threaten you and threaten all these things against you and name call you in that because they know that the only weapon they have is your silence because if you do question them and question them in a reasonable manner and say okay i accept for example i accept that you have this view i'm i'm willing to listen but please do explain it to me why this is your view 
and even something as you know as bland as that that is seen as an attack because they cannot give their views in a reasonable manner and they know this there is no reason for any man to be in a woman's only space well no legitimate reason anyway there's plenty of reasons why you're here I want to do something to a woman why you're here I want to look at naked ladies I mean yeah they're reasons they're not good reasons though are they and no woman I know would want a man in a changing room or in a hostel or in a woman's only ward but they they keep pushing this you know and it's but they can't argue their case they cannot argue the case and all they have is name calling and threats and visitations and doxing dox me all you like I don't care I don't care and if you are someone who has no voice or feels that they have no voice I will give you that voice I will say the things that can be said anyway I shall round this off if you like what you hear and see on the channel please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already ring the bell for notification of future output leave a like leave a comment and until next time stay safe stay well and goodbye